Crapex Centrovent Deaerator for Central Heating Systems. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video we've got a Wiesmann 100 combi boiler here. I'm going to put this filter, or it's not a filter actually, it's a deaerator. I'm going to connect onto the flow pipe on this central heating system. What do you think to, to deaerators on central heating systems? Please put a comment below. Let me know what your opinion is of them. I will give you my opinion afterwards. I have installed a few deaerators over the years. Not for every job because not every job um, customers don't always have the budget to spend loads of money on extra things underneath. But yeah, let me know what you think to them. So what we'll do, we'll have a quick look inside. So as I say, this is the Trapix one and it's the centre vent. And all we're going to do, we're going to cut the pipe work below and we're going to install this onto it. So what we do with this is we put this onto the flow pipe and we put it in like that. That's how we install it. It has got a slip. It's got a slip socket on here. Also on the box, it does show you how much of the pipe work you need to cut out. So what I'm going to do, turn the boiler off. Drain this central heating system down and then we'll cut into the pipe work. I'm not going to bore you, bore you with that bit of it. So I've fully drained the central heating system down now. Well, what I've done is I've isolated my central heating part of it and I've drained this part of the pipe work down. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut some of this pipe work out here. I've got myself some brand new cutters just to make it easy for the video so I don't get... Um, so it doesn't take too long and then on the back of here it just tells us to cut out 46 millimeters of the pipe work so if we say we want it about somewhere around there a mark on this a nice new marker pen as well so if we just mark on there and then if we mark the 46 46 millimeters on there and then we'll just cut this out if we have a look on the cutters we can see it's an arrow so we can see which way we've got to turn the cut around Undo it not off there, just make it a lot easier just to cut. So I can see then. It's nice and easy then to cut. So what this does is what this deaerator does, it gets any micro bubbles or air out of the say gases actually. And some people say that it's actually better, it's better than installing a central heating, um, central heating filter. Put your opinion below, let me know what you think. Personally, I think the idea of a deaerator is very good. I'm not sure that on a lot of jobs, customers are not going to want to spend the extra. So you do have to Obviously, you've still got to do the jobs and sell the jobs. And all we're going to do with that is, we're just going to put that, it's got olives inside already. And we're just going to put that onto there. So as I say, what, what this is designed to do, you pump, when your pump's pumping front boiler, it's pumping out of here. And then the micro bubbles or the air bubbles that are generated go into this and they'll come out of this and we can have a look and see what we think to it it's a proven 
It's a proven technology. I've installed a few on other brands of boilers. On other brands of boilers, other brands of filters, should I say. Um, and then I'll just tighten this back on. And then once I've tightened all this up, what I'll do is I'll full, full out system up and then we'll see see what it does, see if we can hear, see if we can hear out happening. Obviously if you've drained the water out of the system, depending on your boiler manufacturer, you might want to put some more inhibitors back in. I'm going to sort this bit out after with wires and stuff. Um, but for now, just tighten this up. If you're a gas engineer or a plumber, do you install deaerators for your customers? Or have you asked your customers in past and they've said no, we don't want to spend extra money? I think personally they are worth they are worth the extra money really but you're not always gonna get the job because there'll be a lot of other people that they're not going to take things like this. So what we'll do now, we'll fill the system back up. Try to put that back in filter. Otherwise you'll see me flood. You'll see me flood the place. We don't want that. So I'm just going to let some water back in. I don't know if you heard that then, but there was some air that came out of that. So what I'm going to do now, we'll put the, we'll fill it back up properly on here. I've done loads of videos on how to fill a boiler up. Um, but I'm just going to fill it back up to about one bar. Oh. If I turn power on, that'll help. Normally we'd fill it up to about one bar, just over, depending on what the manufacturer instructions say. This is actually at 1.6 at the moment. So all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put the heating on. So I've just got a thermostat. Not that we actually need heating on today, because it's nice and warm today. But just put that on. That should come on shortly. So the pump's just come on there. So we can see there it's definitely working. So what this has done if we hadn't had this deaerator on here, then that then air bubbles would have been going back in. To the central heating and what they can do they can help with corrosion on the system so it's definitely working what's your opinion of them are they worth installing on central heating systems be really interesting to know your thoughts um, as I said I've installed some other brands on other boilers in the past and I've never had no issues if I'm honest but it's always hard to know whether when you're buying products if they're actually worth buying or not um, but it's definitely it's definitely letting it it's definitely letting air out there there's absolutely no doubts that this is working so yeah so how this is what's what's it doing it 
water's coming back here, it's going through the boiler, and then the pump, because the pump's got um the pump's pumping round or circulating, it's going through the boiler, it's producing some micro bubbles or gas or whatever they want to call it. So, um there's a video on uh, Spiritix done a really good video on showing you how this works. I watched that a few years ago, and um, that might be worth worth you watching. Um, and then what this is designed to do then is to try and get as much of that, the micro bubbles, the gases, or whatever you want to call it, out of the system. Then you're not allowing that to go back around the heating system. If you allow them to go around the heating system, it just helps with corrosion. Does that? So by fitting one of these. The idea is the idea is it will slow down or it will um, minimize corrosion in the central heating system so hopefully it'll make the system last longer let me know what your opinion is it's definitely working as I can see it's got bubbles on there so it's, it's definitely it is definitely working thanks for watching